Today's beer of choice is Velvo by Black Sheep. Hi, I'm Swigging Steve and welcome to the Swigging Steve's Bargain Beer Reviews. I've not got it at a weird angle today, so you don't have to tip your phone upside down to watch it properly. And today we've got Velvo, and I've just cracked it open and it's gone all over my table. So, it has exploded a little bit there, so let's pour in what we've got. Overall, I've had a, a lovely week today. The sun is amazing. We're now in the penultimate weekend of September and the weather has been unbelievable. 20 degrees today. I think it's going to be another hot one tomorrow. And this beer smells very nice. Lemon. Getting lots of lemon there. Lots of nice, zesty, fresh lemon. Lots of it, actually. That's very, very... It's got like a nice mellowness to it as well. Just recovering from a bit of a cold. I had a bit of a cold last week. It looks to me... Now, let me clear it a little bit, the glass there. That, to me, looks like it's unfiltered. So it looks like they've kept some of the bits in that one. All right, and I like that. It's got a lovely orange colour to it. Very inviting, very fresh. It's my first drink after work on a Friday, so I just can't wait to dive into this one. What else am I getting off there? Mm, it's got that lime zestiness. It's got like, a, like the, the skin of a lime, skin of a lemon. It's got like a lovely freshness to it. Got a slight little bit of bready note behind it. It's good, yeah. It's got the it's got the <clears throat> black sheep backbone to it. So we're back to the black sheep stuff, by the way. I think there's just one more after this one, and then I've done the whole lot. So yeah, cheers. Let's go. Let's dive in. Hmm. Hmm. Lovely. Little orange notes. A lovely crisp, light, almost lager-esque feel to this beer. It's quite crisp. Really nice, actually. I really like that. It's a bit nice than I thought it was going to be. I, I, I've had Velma before and I don't, I don't remember being very impressed with it, but... Again, maybe it's this whole idea that it's the first drink I've had on a Friday and I'm just absolutely dying for something to drink. There might be an element of that in this. Mm. It's quite a light mouthfeel. Yeah, the more I'm drinking it, thinnish, thinnish, Me thin to medium body feel. The carbonation is really nice, so and that light rolls to the back of your mouth, and it's got that it's, it's spot on carbonation. Mm. Melon. Getting a little bit of melon in there. A little bit of like a bit of a gala melon. Nice sweetness. So, bit of melon, bit of orange. Definitely a bit of orange in it. Lemon. It's very pleasant. It's got like a quintessential Britishness to it that I love. But it's got that nice, mellow fruit edge to it. That is a little bit left field of a quintessentially British beer. But at the same time, still not too. Like the, it's not like a punchy grapefruit, you know. It's not like something you might try when you drink something like that, you know. Um, might review one of the once. Once I've reviewed some of the, uh, once I finish reviewing some of this stuff, some of the uh, real ales, I might start getting into some craft beers and reviewing some of those because there's some cracking stuff for the price. I know it's not particularly cheap in comparison to like one fifty a, a bottle, but you know. Pretty cheap. Right, anyway. Love the lacing on the glass. It's maintained its lacing quite well. Uh, it's dissipated. It's, it's got about... Well, it's hardly got any head on that now. It does look like there's bits in it, you know. I don't know if it's conditioned or not, this. Okay. One more guzzle. Mmm. Very light. Melony. Lemons. Little oranges. Really nice. However... This beer would struggle, I think, against something if I was to uh, if I was to drink. Oh, I don't know, like uh, something like a, a stronger IPA or something that's got a little bit more grout about it. Then I drink that afterwards. I'd struggle to pick the flavours up. I think it's one of those you've got to drink at the right occasion. <laughs> Struggling to rate this. I'm gonna wear. Uh, you're rating it in your mind all the time, aren't you, when you're doing your review, thinking, what am I going to give it? 
Okay, so Velvo is a beer to celebrate the humble bicycle, our rolling Yorkshire Dales and the Yorkshire Grand Depart in 2014. Oh, six years ago now. Uh, which passed right by the brewery gate. A juicy crisp and fresh pale ale to quench even the biggest thirst after a day of sweat and toil. Um, brewed with cascade hop, a touch of orange and coriander. Yeah, the orange is coming through. Coriander, yeah, yeah. Now, now it's been mentioned, I would say there's a herbal quality to it. Maybe my, I've got because of my cold a little bit. Make, make an excuse up now for not picking it up. Maybe because I've got a bit of a cold, I didn't pick up the coriander. All right. Um, yeah. I, I'm getting a little bit. I mean, I won't say it's, it's raving coriander to me, but I'm getting. I am getting like a herbal um, sort of a slight leafiness to it. Mm. Yeah. What do I rate this? Mm. 150. 500 mils. Worth picking up for sure. It's worth the price. Uh, a lot of these beers are somewhere between 7.5 and 8.5, aren't they? I would say more specifically between 7.7 .7, probably 8.2. And it's in there. It's, it's, it's in that still. On a good day, I might give it an 8 point something. On a bad day, I might give it a 7.7. 7. I might give it something a lot lower if I were to drink that on cask after I've drunk something else because I might think, well, I can't get much off this beer. Uh, I'm going to give it a 7.9 out of 10. Not quite an 8, but a very top 7. Well, the toppest, you couldn't get higher, any higher than that on a 7 because it's 7.9, all right? So, yeah, 7.9. I think it's a lovely beer. Well worth trying, well, worth the price. Refreshing, good, good sun of beer. Bet, well, another beer we had with orange and coriander in was the. Uh... Oh, you're getting it on the burp. You're getting it on the burp. What beer was it now that I had? Oh, the. Uh... What's that one from America? Blue Moon. Had that in a can. Now, the thing is with the Blue Moon in a can, yeah, it, it was a little bit. A little bit thin. Like, really thin. A bit gassy. Like, a bit of a. Almost got a bit of acid on it straight away, you know, a bit of, bit of acid reflux before I finished drinking it. Was this? Well, it explains why it, it there's something. It explains why it's not clear because obviously it's got it's added. What's been added to it? Um, orange and coriander, a touch of cor orange and coriander. So maybe that's where the cloudiness is coming from in it. Who knows? But anyway, nice beer. I don't don't say it's conditioned. Anyway, four point two percent. So a nice little session beer. I've been swinging Steve. I'll see you around. Please uh, comment if you've drunk this beer and tell me what you think. I'll see you next time.